Tom Brady, the greatest of all time. The GOAT was drafted 23 years ago in the sixth round. 23 years later, TB12 leads the NFL in passing with over 100,000 passing yards and 649 touchdowns. But it's time to go over part two of the Brady scheme, run and play action. So the first play we're gonna go over is counter weak in the strong slot formation. In this play, you wanna motion the fullback over so he can reach the second level to block faster. You will see that the fullback is able to get to the second level more efficiently through the gap. The pulling right guard is able to kick out 99 overall Miles Garrett, which leads to a huge hole to run through for playoff Lenny. In this play, after you motion the fullback over, you will see that the defense will be completely blocked by the counter blocking scheme, with the fullback double teaming the D tackle and the third level defenders blocked by the left tackle, which leads to a breakout run through an open run gap for the Leonard Fournette. The next play we're gonna go over is HP off tackle in the strong pro formation. If you run this play against a four or five man front, here are the adjustments. Double team the player next to the defensive end, and ID the edge rusher or the defensive end next to the player you just double teamed. For example, here is the D tackle I just double teamed, and here is the D end I just ID'd. So once I snap the ball, the fullback successfully double teams the D tackle, the left tackle blocks the third level safety, and off to the races for Leonard Fournette. But against a cover two man with two pressed corners with inside shade and two high safeties with the corners manned up and the safeties in two deep half zones, you can motion the receiver to the side you are running to, to the other side, which will create more space for your running back to make moves and one less blocker to worry about. And when usering the running back, you want to either try to take this play to the outside or find a cutback lane like I did here for an easy couple of yards. The next play is HB base in the gun bunch formation. Now because of the condensed bunch formation, it will be easier for our wide receivers to find their blocking assignments because everything else is closer together. But as the running back, you can either follow the lead blocker into the open gap or hit a cutback lane, make a man miss, and get a couple of yards for the first down. Now Brady loves play action action and that's why we will be going over PA flood shot. Brady hits a lot of his deep balls on play action plays which is why my first read is this deep man or zone beating corner and as planned this route can cook against any type of defense you face. If you want to change some things up you can put triangle on a slant to add two crossing routes to the already glitchy Brady play. So here we put the slant route on triangle and when we snap the ball the play action lures the linebackers in which creates wide open grass for the slant receiver to run through like you see here. And your third read is the base crossing route. But when throwing the ball, you want to make sure to come back to the ball to prevent any picks or disruptions, which will make the throw a lot less riskier. The next play is called PA cross in the strong Z close formation. For the goals and reads, we want to try and lure the linebackers in with play action. For the reads, we want to first look at the outside corner route and then the high and low crossers for our next reads. It is worth noting that having a high overall player in this position can help run this route to beat the defense over the top. And as we snap the ball, the linebackers stop their feet, which can create space for the crossers, but in this play, the deep route is able to beat the defense over the top, so by pressing L1 for the high ball, I was able to throw it over their head for an easy tutty. But now let's talk about the high-low concept. The high route is the deep crosser, and the low route is the low crosser. And again, the play action influences the linebackers to stop their feet, which leads to open receivers like Mike Evans over the top, running wide open behind the shallow defender for the easy pitch and catch and some rack yards. The next play is PA scissors in the strong pro formation. This play relies on the flood concept with the outside post, tight end corner, and the fullback flat route. Your first read is the corner by the tight end to see if you can throw the ball over the underneath defender like I did in this play. Against man coverage, take a look at the man beating backside dig. If you throw the ball when the wide receiver makes his cut away from the linebacker and in front of the corner, be ready to surprise yourself by throwing dots just like Tom Brady against any man defense. 
The final play is PA wide glance in the single back doubles formation. This is a Brady and Gronk special. Many of their biggest plays came from play action and hitting Gronk on a seamer post route up the middle. But you always want to make sure to read the linebacker. If he is in a zone, wait to throw the ball in the open window as soon as he runs behind the defender, just like I did here in this play. So that is the part two of Brady's scheme. Make sure to watch part one. The video is right there. Why wouldn't you? Anyways, guys, it would mean the world to me if you liked the video and subscribe. It helps me create more content for you guys. But I hope you liked the video and I hope it helped your Madden game out. Peace.